Alex back on trail. Uh, got picked up um, and dropped off at Unicoi Gap, um, which is the, I think around the 50 mile mark. Um, <clears throat> and uh, just doing 5.7 is the goal today, um, but it's gonna be pretty two big climbs. So even though a shorter distance, um, it's not easy. So we get to the parking lot and lo and behold, there's the group of scouts that I was kind of around a few days ago. And uh, they were getting resupplied at the parking lot and they're also gonna stay same shelter I plan to tonight. So that'll be cool. Um, yeah. I'm gonna shut this thing off and climb a few mountains. much other than some camping areas this is called the cheese factory site and back in the 1800s there used to be a dairy farm here so hence the name the cheese factory site you can go that way if you want some water i'm good let's push on to the shelter Well, I've got thunder, 
Um, I was able to check the radar and it looks like it's coming. So I got 3.2 to get to Addie's Gap. Uh, but if I see a good spot, I'm probably done for the day. Set up my tent, avoid getting hammered because the rain um, looks pretty bad. So thankfully I got some decent terrain right now. I'm cruising, knee feels good. Um, so I'm trying to keep up a good pace. It still put me away a while to get into Addie's Gap to camp. I think there's a spot or two before I get there. So anyway, that's my out of breath update. All right, I think we made it. We're at Swag of the Blue Ridge. Where's my swag bag? Oh, all right, let's go see where we can put a tent. Maybe. Better. All right. I did nine something miles today, more than expected. But that's awesome because it's more than uh, I'd planned for and I was really just trying to see what my knee was gonna do. Um, and it did really well. So it kind of shortens up tomorrow if I wanted to kind of stay with uh, what I planned. So that's good. Um, it's just been an emotional day. Uh, last day or two, I've been struggling with the knee, uh, thinking of the different things to do um, for this trip um, if my knee didn't get better but it seemed to, um, to be pretty good my show driver today um, said he used to get the same pain and it was just basically a muscle that um, muscles in your knee that you never use because you're always stepping up and down uh, pretty straight but obviously I hear you're not so maybe I just stressed it a little bit um, first few days and maybe it'll uh, just grow into being used because otherwise my legs and back and everything, shoulders are feeling really great. I can't complain about being anything else other than a little tired at the end of the climbs and stuff. That's uh, natural. Um, so I didn't stay at the Trey Mountain Shelter. It was going to be busy with Boy Scouts, which they're a good group. But there was also behind them about eight or ten girls slack packing. I think they're high school girls or something. So they were probably going to get the shelter. I think the boys were going to, they were all putting tents up. And there wasn't that many tent sites. And I was just, I knew I could, I was trying to shoot for Addie's Gap, which was about five and a half miles. But with the rain, I just saw this spot here. Um, so still got a few extra miles in today, which was good. All right, I'm looking for cards say at the end of the day all right so I'm looking for a blue color at the end of my day I have to turn on the lights I don't know it's a green green dot at the end of the day okay something funny I need something funny today all right oh number one dad thanks oh Talk about amazing. All right, it says, Dear Father, you raised a good kid, if I do say so myself. 
I hope you ate some good food. Why did I say that? Love. Okay. Um, yeah, I, uh, I got a late start out of town today on purpose because I wanted a good breakfast. At, uh, and I ended up going back to Dottie's, which was um, one of the few places in Helen to eat a good breakfast. So I um, had a great breakfast there. Got picked up and got the trail about 10.30. Um, it's a little later start, but I'll be up and early going uh, tomorrow. But uh, basically just had a little lunch there at the shelter and pressed on. I'm not even hungry for dinner. It's already hung up. I'm probably just going to crash for the night and uh, eat a good breakfast or something before I head out. All right, well, unless something major happens, you can hear the rain probably. Some thunder in the distance. Maybe I'll sleep really, really good at night. All right. Check back with you next time.